I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm with no stranger to the channel, Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance. Now, if you want to see Schwartz Performance information, look in the description, you can see that. As well as, we're going to show you what their specialties are, which are frames. And each frame has a vehicle identification number or a frame identification number. And I'll show you a little snippet of the frame at some point in the video or the frames. So with that, Jeff Schwartz, good to see you. Yeah, great to see you, Lou. Tell us what we have today. Well, today we got a 73 Camaro and uh, this one sporting a Schwartz G-Machine chassis and uh, uh, the Monster Bear brakes and a supercharged uh, LS engine. The horsepower on this one? Um, it's uh, close to 900. <laughs> well, with no further ado, let's go to our mean heavy Chevy. Now that's got a bite to it. If that don't look like a shark about to bite you. The last time I saw this, Jeff, it was 1975 and I heard this. Dun 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 This one looks like Jaws. Wow. So Jeff, give me a little detail here on the stance, how you create this. This is pretty gosh darn cool. Yeah, this one here we've uh, we've got, as I mentioned, the G Machine chassis, our uh, Schwartz Bear six piston brakes all the way around, and then we got some big wheels and tires. It's been mini tubbed. Uh, the rears are a 345 wide tire. Come on with me for a second. I want to make sure we're hearing you. So look at the depth on those tires. My hand is all the way in there. Yeah, we generally uh, run like a 12 and a half inch wheel on the back of these cars. Wow. And that translates to about 14 inches of rubber on the ground. Now, I'm just curious, I like it, but I'm just curious how you went with the lime green Schwartz calipers. Well, that was a customer decision, so. Sometimes I have to acquiesce to customers' uh, needs and desires. So. I like it. I like it. And the and the, the the rim color is really popping on this. We've blackened out all of the chrome pieces, giving it the little baby spoiler, and you can see this beautiful pearl paint. I think the sun will capture that. Maybe even there better. So you, and, and I noticed you've taken all the trim off, so it has a smooth, flush look. Yeah, that's a flush mounted glass, and then we've tucked the bumpers in as well. You can see the bumpers tucked in where it doesn't hang off the edge of the quarter panel. And right here, I'll show you one of those Schwartz Performance frames. So we've been talking about Schwartz Performance frames. And I wanted to show you a few before the car is on it. This frame is actually the frame for a unibody car. Now, a unibody car is just what it sounds like. And every Schwartz Performance frame gets a little serial number tag so they can keep track of it with the car. So on a unibody, once you put this underneath that car and bolt it to it, along with the suspension parts as you can see in the, in the braking system this thing is going to run like a track car and I'll give you an example on this Woody that's up here it's being built this is a regular framed car look at the thickness of this frame and this frame will come off become powder coated they're fabricating it to the car right now let me give you a shot this way I'll let you take that in. And this is why people come from all over the country or the world to get your frame here. Because this Woody is going to run like no other Woody you've ever seen before. Because once this thing gets completed, it'll run like a track car. So let me give you one more shot of that frame. And there you go. Let's go back to the show. 
and we're back. So let's take a look at the trunk. I also see you've got a camera system here. Yes, backup camera. Backup camera. So all the modern conveniences. And let us not forget too, I'm seeing a roll bar through here. And take a look at even that back deck. Wow. I'm just curious, Jeff, what's this? This little, it looks like a sensor. That's uh, for satellite radio. Satellite radio. Not missing a thing. Well, there's where the roll bar comes all the way through. And is that all just based and bolted to the chassis? Uh, that one has uh, got some bolt-in connections as well, yes. There's some welded and some bolted. Wow. So sweet. So sweet. All right, we'll close that. And we'll take a look at our interior. Everything custom. I mean, the shell is a Camaro. It's recognizable. Look at the this. seats are from a modern ZL1 Camaro and they have the full power power functions on them as well. Look at the handles here. They would call this a two plus two, which means you can fit some grocery bags back there. Let me just share and let you concentrate on that. Okay, first question. So on the steering wheel, is that uh, is that for the uh, rocket launchers? Uh, one here. It could be wired to the rocket launchers, <laughs> yes. But what is this? Horn buttons. Horn buttons. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I like my idea better. The vintage air made everything look old school, but yet you can clearly taste new school. That's just even the cup holders in here with the buttons. Now let's take a look under the hood. Wow, that is all business. Ed Schwartz performance. An LSA, so that's a Chevrolet engine. Yes, that's a uh, supercharged LSA. It was used in the ZL1 Camaro and also in the CTS-V uh, Cadillac. This one's been tweaked a bit. It's got uh, one of our custom grind supercharger cams and a bigger injector. That do? Spins the supercharger faster, creates more boost and more work. Of course, that works far. Or as I like to say, just the way we like it. This one is near 900 horsepower on the at the crankshaft. Wow. Well, let's uh, let's fire it up. We'll listen to it idle for a second, and then. Uh, when we're back there, we'll step on the brakes and we'll give it a little bit of gas. What's the uh, transmission on this one? This one is a six-speed Tremec. Uh, six-speed Tremec. Six. Got it. Step on the brakes for just a second. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. How's it feel driving it? Great. <laughs> oh, it's not. I love uh, second gen F bodies. They're one of my favorite cars. This one, well. I stay comfortable. 
comfortably in the chair. Yeah, this is an extremely stiff and yet comfortable seats ride. Yeah, this car has a feeling of major comfort. But yet this also has performance like this. treat to uh, run around the Schwartz Performance Headquarter and get a chance to share another great Schwartz Performance ride. So I just want to say uh, thanks for being on my car story. Thanks for uh, bringing out another great car of your customers. And uh, I know they're all pleased because, well, you can see what he's producing. And uh, thanks for being on the channel. My pleasure. Thank you.